can I go back to your agreements with Brussels or your being a part of the club, right? So as an outsider looking in, as Poland being a, a member of the European Uni Union, when it came to the quotas, so the European Union said, okay, guys, we're all in the same club together. No. There's a refugee crisis, right? And we need to have quotas. We need to share the burden. From me, from the outside looking in, it looked as if with Poland, it was as if everybody had agreed to go out to dinner and split the bill. Everybody went out to dinner. Everybody ate. But at ha. the end... It at the work. end, hold on, hold on. At the end, way. Poland said, okay, at the end, Poland way. said, at the end, Poland said, oh, no, I'm not paying because I took my other friend out for lunch earlier and I paid. I, I brought in Ukrainian uh, migrants. I brought in two million. So I don't want to be a part of this burden. Why do you guys stay a part of this club if you so fundamentally disagree with the Germans and the others on absolutely everything? Why do you bother? Because Germany... And Russians, they want to drink Don Perignon and they want us to drink water. That is the difference. So if they want us to have a lunch together and split the bill, they have to eat the same thing and they drink the same thing. The club means that we are equal. We have the same rights and the same duties. But it doesn't work this way. Germany asked for a deal with Russians. I'm talking about Nord Stream 2. Mm -hmm. French, they are selling Mistral's to Russia. They are making a business. They don't care about our safety. And then they want us to pay, to pay the bill. It doesn't work this way. It's not going to work this way. We will never agree for the deals with the Russians and not saying anything. Right. So if they want solidarity, if they want to have this club with us as a partners, they have to behave like a partners. Mistral's from France and Nord Stream 2 are the symbols. Obviously there is much more to, uh, to be given as, a, as an example. So, first of all, it's not us who started this madness. It's Germany who started. Right. Angela Merkel was looking for cheap labor, so she find out that, that they want to work, that they want to contribute to this society by their taxes. They don't want to learn language. And then she decided, okay, so let's spread them around. Let's say that this is our responsibility, not mine. And then we're going to get rid of this problem. No, no, no. We're not going to take any of those. It's not our war. It's not our colony. We never had any colonies in our history. So we want to be a partner. We want to be equal partner with the same rights and the same duties. That's why I keep repeating, not even one illegal will come to Poland ever. Dominic, it's been really great getting into the mind of the current Polish government and good to have you on the program. Thanks for joining us.